and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to make liquid text. So it's gonna look like this. But like, as you can see, I have multiple options. So of course you're gonna want to start with the title clip. So project add title clip. I'm just gonna write water and I chose this nice blue for the color. I'm just gonna center it and create title. It's gonna show up here and I can just drop it to my timeline. I'm gonna shorten it a little and then we go we're arrived to the actual effect. So of course I'm gonna use rotoscoping. You can just look in the search bar here and then I'm gonna drag it onto my clip and I'm gonna make sure that I'm at the first keyframe. And I'm gonna make kind of like a saw thing, like a, like with teeth, you know. So like this. And then I'm gonna move all of the nodes so that the curves are all, well, not the curves, like the things are horizontal, all of the little nod thingies. Cause then it's gonna make a smooth uh, liquid look, I guess. So at the first frame, you're not gonna see the text, then you move up a little. So I'm gonna do like one third, two thirds in the end. You can choose whatever you want, of course. So then I'm gonna go up. And I'm just gonna move them a little bit randomly, but not too much, but a little, like, y you just need to play with it, you know? Because if you do it too linearly, like always the same thing, it's just gonna make a line at one point, which is not nice. So then I'm gonna go at the two thirds mark and change things up again, but not like totally actually, so like a little bit less. And then at the end, I want it to be totally uh, shown. Okay, nice. I'm just gonna change it to minimum because it would be useful for the next phase maybe. And we're gonna look at it. Kind of nice. Um, the E, like the, this part is a bit slow compared to the, end, the, the rest. So I'm just gonna actually change this a bit lower. And make sure that here this is lower and this is a bit higher and now it's too okay better nice i like it like this so of course adjust it to look uh the way you want so maybe you want to have another color of text under so you have multiple options i think the easiest thing is just um you take your clip you put it to the second track and you can drag it drag your existent title clip and then you can make it other colors for example uh, white with brightness and you can just just change the brightness to like maximum and it's gonna be white under maybe you don't want white maybe you want something else you could use U shift and now I can make it another color but if you want to choose the color more easily you can also do clip duplicate clip when you right click on the thing it, you have duplicate clip and then you can just go here change the color so like i don't know whatever color you want you know it's like a salmon in the water and now you have this um maybe you also want a background so i'm just gonna add a track under actually under v1 okay and now i have a track here i'm gonna add a background that's just gonna be a color clip in my case uh a color that works with all of this i don't know yellow it's a full on beach day nice and maybe you want like a like you want maybe you want the edge to be marked I don't know, maybe not, but you can then add a track, insert track. And so I have two methods for this. Um, the first one is easier and faster, but doesn't look as good. But like, I think it depends on your word a lot and on your font. So I'm going to use charcoal. Charcoal, um, you can try it on a normal image, you'll see what it does. In our case here, it will... Um, make the sides thicker um, so you want actually the scale to be quite high 
like as high as you can and then you just go up with this I think like this is maybe the best we can get it without it looking too weird because like you can see at, at these angles it looks a bit weird but it's not too bad and then I'm just gonna add a composite or composite and no composite and transform for this one with multiply and a composite or composite and transform on this one it doesn't really matter it's just for compositing purposes and now it's gonna look like this If you want it to be cleaner, you could use Inkscape. So I'm going to show you that too. So once you have Inkscape opened, what I usually do is I change the size of the page to be um, my frame size. Okay, and then it's easier to have something like that's like to import it will be easier uh, I'm gonna use the same font Lovelo in heavy and like as big as I can well I could go higher but like in this case it's good I'm gonna center it with align and distribute that's not so good according to the page okay and so here you can see if I try to change the color of the contour. Uh, uh, okay, I can change the color and have the background like in a color. Or not. I'm not sure what the names are in English. I'm sorry. This is in French and like I'm not sure how to change it. But so yeah, you can make better um, edges like this. So I'm just going to render this both and I'll see you soon. So now that I've exported everything, I imported it into Canon Live and I have both of my words. I can just do the exact same thing. Um, what I'm actually going to do is just copy and paste because that will work great. I hope, actually. Will it work great? We'll see. So, Control C, Control P, and it works great. Beautiful. So yeah, that's basically all. Like, you can mix it up. Mix the method, of course, everything. Um, so I hope you liked it. If you did, please subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, share it around. I don't know. I get that's all. Bye bye.